Welcome back. So I did some more work on the interior. I did take a heat gun lightly to the rear seat. I wasn't able to get all the wrinkles on it, but I did want to get it so they were sort of similar to what the front seats naturally have. I don't know that this camera is doing this seat justice. This is nice. This is the kind of seat I think anyone would be happy to sit in. That looks like buttery leather. It's pleather. But even though the tuck is very, very pronounced, the material really just flows into it real nice. It's a good place to put someone's butt. <laughs> Very happy with that. And the other thing I did, I think I'm getting tired of this thing being too, too race car-ish. The trunk used to be held up with a pipe. And I went ahead and did it right. So I didn't have any of the correct hardware. So this is a parachute cord. with just a homemade little bracket that's anchored into the masonite. And I tweaked the length so that when the trunk is closed, this stays just tight. So it stays straight, it doesn't sag. And then I got these lifts. The original bracket I, uh, I had to sacrifice. I had to cut them out to take care of some rust. Uh, inside the channel, so I went ahead and made new ones. They work good. So everything works as intended. So the trunk is a, this is a nice usable trunk now. Well, not bad looking. This is the reconfigured wheel well. It's quite a bit larger than stock. This is a stock wheel well. That's because of the TT's complicated filler pipe setup. That all came out pretty good. So next on the work list, I've been thinking about the dashboard. I'm starting to realize that I actually don't have any problem with the outline. I think what makes the dashboard look too simple or too DIY is it doesn't have a glove box. So I think I'm going to try to cut a glove box door into this dash and see how I like it. I'm thinking uh, something, uh, something that starts here and comes down across like that. Similar to a GTI, which I happen to have here. Something like this is what I have in mind. So we'll see. Anyways, I hope you don't mind uh, these relatively minor updates. The car runs, there's nothing wrong with the mechanicals, it's just little details. So I'll post up uh, progress on the dash when the time comes.